Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel! Today I have a special video for you guys which I thought about doing a long time ago but I just didn't have the time to and finally today I decided why not do this video for you guys and it's a what's in my work backpack type of video so yeah I actually personally love watching what it, what's in my bag video so I thought of doing this video for you guys and I also recently got a new bag which is the ta -da! This is the Longchamp Le Pliage backpack and I love it so so much. This was actually gifted from my family for my birthday and honestly I love it. I have no regrets with this bag. I wish I can carry it more often though and it actually fits a lot more than you think. So this is the color. I think this is the petal pink color and I love this bag. It doesn't get easily dirty you know but then it does get dirty a bit but it's okay because it's very like easy to wipe off like dirt and stuff like that so this is what i have in my work backpack it's honestly a little heavy but yeah and i also bought this uh broccoli i call it cocoli so i bought this broccoli online and i thought it was really cute so i just put it here as like a small accessory I got this bag thinking like I can bring it to work and it's really actually really really good for work because you can put a lot of things. So let's get into what's in my bag. So I normally bring this when I have outdoor shoot, even indoor shoot as well but I feel like when in outdoor shoot this works way better because it can fit like unexpectedly a lot of things. So when you open, <laughs> this is how it looks like. I don't know if you can see, it's literally filled with everything. There's so much. I'll let you guys like see like in a close up later. But firstly, um, my bag does fit an iPad. It actually fits a laptop, 13 inch laptop as well. But I don't have a 13 inch laptop, so I do not use that in my bag. So first thing up, I have this iPad. This is like the really old iPad, and I have lots of funny things at the back here, like stickers cute stickers, my picture, plasters, just in case and stuff like that. So this is my iPad and I use it for work a lot and even editing videos. So this comes in really handy. So this is in the first thing in my bag. And then the second biggest thing I have in my bag is actually this bottle because when I go outdoor shoot, it gets really hot, especially in Malaysia. The weather is like seriously super hot and I sweat a lot. So this is a really good bottle and it it has like a sippy straw and also this um mouth opening that you can drink with so it really depends but normally i don't drink from this one i normally only drink from the sippy straw because i think it's nicer that way so second thing i have is my bottle and this bottle is actually a big one it's not those small bottle and it's a thermos bottle so i can store like eyes and stuff inside of that and then the third thing I have is ta -da! this is my airpod. Before this, I didn't really use an airpod case, but then I realized that my airpods was so scratchy and it has like a lot of scratch stains. So I didn't want like more scratch stains. So I started using an airpod case and I feel figured out this was really cute and I bought it from like Shopee and online store. So yeah, this was really cute. And then the next thing I have is my wallet. I bring this everywhere I go. This is new as well, but I have been using this every day since I got it. This is the Dior card holder. And this works really well because it's really small, really compact, and I can really put it in any bag, even big bags, micro bags, small bags. So this is really good. And I have cash and some cards in there. And then the next thing I have, okay, of course, when I go outdoor shoots, I get hungry sometimes and or I just need some snacks. So I have a Meiji green tea, Meiji matcha biscuit. So if you don't know me, I love matcha a lot and I tend to need some snack when I'm hungry or like I get cranky if I don't have something sweet or a dessert. So I tend to have this in my bag. This has two cookies and if you haven't tried this, this is really, really good. It's like a sandwich cookie in between there's like a matcha layer and then there's chocolate biscuit on it This is really good. I have a lot of this stocked at home And the next thing I have of course is mint. This is Fisherman Friends mint. I, I like this a lot as well I, I've been eating this since my college days which was many many years ago So I still bring it with me right now up to this day 
then the next thing I have okay this is really random but I have this recycle bag because I try not to buy plastic bags so much because they because they want us to pay so of course being the recycle me I just thought of bringing like a recycle bag which it works really well you know like even if I buy things from the grocery and stuff like that I can just store everything in this bag without like paying like 20 cents or like 50 cents for a, just a plastic bag which I'm gonna throw away afterwards so yeah I have a recycle bag with me and then the next thing I have okay is this bag of toothpicks because my dad and my grandfather they like to use toothpicks after meals which yeah so i have toothpicks and floss which are for them but sometimes i need floss as well so just in case if i'm outdoor and i have a shoot and you know i need a floss because there's something stuck in my teeth so yeah this comes in handy and then okay we still have a lot of things in here and then we have okay so we have oily tissue paper no oily blotting paper so my face gets really oily when I'm like sweating or when I'm outdoors so this comes in really handy I've been using this since a long time ago and it is with me everywhere I go so yeah and then the next thing I have is tissues and red tissues obviously we need tissues and red tissues right because I don't know hygiene is really really important I feel like wet tissue is really a necessity now because I feel like in Malaysia those public toilets aren't as clean so I always always carry wet tissues with me and then okay the next thing I have is this Dior pouch actually this was a free gift from I don't know what cosmetic things I bought so yeah this is actually free but inside I have like a lot of things so I call this like the emergency bag so okay there's actually a lot of things inside so please bear with me first thing i have is a comb when i go for shoots when i need you know an emergency comb i do not have one so putting one in here is really good and the second thing i have is a hand cream this is from body shop and it's the hand balm shea and this one i haven't used it yet because this is quite new but i always like bring it around in case i really need it of course, I have plasters again. I, I get scratched really easy, I don't know why, so I bring plasters a lot. So yeah, and then next thing, obviously I have hair ties. I have lots of hair ties in this bag because I don't know why hair ties get lost so easily. I don't know how, but it just gets lost like really quickly. And the next thing I have is a tiger balm. I don't know if you guys know what a tiger balm is. It's basically like an ointment. If a mosquito bites you or something like bites you, an insect bites you, this thing is like an ointment. It's like really tangy and like spicy when you put it on your skin. So I use this a lot when I'm outdoors as well. As you, as you can see, it's practically half empty already. And then the next thing I have is... Ta-da! This is a diptych. This is actually a diptych solid perfume, which I hardly use honestly, but I do want to use it more often. It smells really good. Look at that. It looks really pretty. And actually my friends got me this for my 21st birthday. And I don't really like know how to use it properly, but I, I do want to use this. So I just place it in my bag whenever I feel like I need to use a solid perfume, I will use it. And I love the smell, it's really good because my friends know I love like rosy things, like floral things. So they bought me in the scent Rose. This is O Rose. Mm, it smells really good. I do recommend you guys to get this, you know, if you guys do not use like um if you guys do not use like the spray type of perfumes, this type of perfumes works really well as well. It's really small and look at this. It's really really small and it does have some weight to it but it's okay and then the next thing I have in my emergency pouch is another perfume so I use this kind of perfume a lot because whenever I go out I must have perfume on me if not I feel like it's not Zoe you know so perfume is really a necessity and this is the Miss Dior perfume I normally use the Blooming Bouquet Miss Dior one but yeah this is just the Miss Dior perfume and then the last two things I have in my emergency pouch is pills this is a period pill when I have cramps or when I have 
sores and stuff like that this works really well especially when i need to shoot this is really important and this is just paracetamol panadol when i feel like you know i'm not feeling well i can just pop this and good to go next thing we go for is lippies you know i can't live without lippies right i have actually a few lip products in this bag itself so i have four lip products which i bring wherever i go so this is actually the Nivea one this is i think it's about to finish though it's about to finish i use this every day this is the peach it was gifted by guardians yeah so this is the Nivea peach um, peach shine and i really love it it smells really good it smells really peachy and the next one i have is roman i bought this one online from korea and this was really good but i feel like this gets like finished up really quickly i only use it for two three months like they on a daily basis and it gets like finished so quickly so i didn't know if i should buy more or not but this was really good it melts on your lips this was the famous um famous roman lip lip glassing tint which is in the shade mauve whip this is 07 and it's already actually finished like there's no more it's just like on the very very top so i don't know if i should get more or not but i'm just gonna like put it here in case i need some color i can just like scrape some and put it on my lips and then the last two lip product i have is this two from Chanel so if you guys don't know I've been using this range a lot this is the Rouge Coco Bomb I have this from last two years and this one is the newest one from last year Christmas my best friend Joey gave this to me so these two is in different shade this is 920 in love and 914 natural charm and the colors of this are so beautiful if you can see one is more of the brown nude and one is more like the bright pink red type of color and honestly i love both colors i will never like stop being in love with this so yeah that's all the lippies i have in my longchamp bag the last thing i have in my bag is actually quite unexpected so it's this i don't know if you can guess what this is but take a look this is actually a portable fan so i've been saying that i go to outdoor shoots quite a lot lately and i really can't stand the heat so in malaysia it's really hot it's humid 24 7 so i bring this fan with me wherever i go and honestly i've used this for many hours before when i'm at a shoot and this works for a really really long time like a few hours and i was so like shocked because i didn't know the battery life of this was that long so i really love this and it's pink as well it has three modes to it so this one ah oh, oh, it's really really strong and it's not really like very aggressive like the fan you know like if i ever like accidentally hit my finger or my face with the fan it stops immediately so this one is really good i bought it online as well and kinda it folds up really small and cute that's why i love bringing this in my bag and i don't feel like it takes a lot of space so that's good so that's all i have in my longchamp bag and you can see it's empty now and i also bought a bag shaper i'm gonna take the bag shaper out i also bought a bag shaper for this bag because i have a lot of stuff to put and if i don't have a bag shaper i feel like everything will be quite messed up like because there's not not really much of a big compartment in this bag so i bought a bag shaper online and honestly i did not regret buying a bag shaper because it helped me in a lot of ways in a lot of my bags as well i do buy a bag shaper because i feel like it's really necessary so as you can see it fits perfectly the bag shaper i bought pink because i just feel like you know my bag is pink so i bought the bag shaper pink as well so this is how the bag shaper looks like it fits like perfectly in the longchamp bag and it gives you a base so your bag doesn't sag down like for example if i don't use a bag shaper this part will, will sag down and it will look really like flappy and i don't I don't really want that to happen so i got a bag shaper so there it gives a base to it and it's actually quite sturdy like ever since i used this i never see my bag being saggy before so i would really really recommend you guys getting this like this kind of bag shaper for your longchamp le pliage backpack and it even has like a lot of compartments here that's why i love it so there's a bottle compartment here there is like another two compartments where i put like my lipstick and my lip products 
and then also another compartment two other big compartments here and then a huge one at the back here and also this zip where you can put like more of like the personal stuff like passports and stuff so yeah i think this is a really good good bag shaper especially if you're planning to get a longchamp le piage backpack i really do recommend you guys getting a bag shaper because it can help you guys fit much more than you think this bag can fit so that's all for my what's in my work bag video and if you guys have any questions about this bag or any questions about the shaper or anything feel free to comment down and also like this video and give it a subscribe and a thumbs up so i can produce more videos for you guys so if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye